Hey guys, welcome back to Nature's Cadence Farm. Today we're going to be doing some test cuts, uh, chainsaw versus chainsaw. MS290 to 390 conversion. I'll put some links up here to the playlist for the conversion. Uh, muffler mod, I drilled some holes in the muffler, just kind of anywhere. Here's a picture, and uh, you can see a couple on top, one in the middle, slide on the bottom, okay? Uh, put a plug in the decompression valve. Uh, Thrifty Garage had his top end explode on his because the decompression valve failed and dropped down in there and ruined everything. Uh, this is a 266 XP, vintage 1987-89, somewhere around in there, I'm not exactly sure. My dad bought this new back then. And uh, so anyways, we're going to, this is uh, a 18 inch bar, 325 pitch. This is a 20 inch bar, 3 8 pitch, so a little bit different, not apples to apples, but hey, we're going to get it in there and try it out. Let's fire these things up and make some cuts. We're going to start with the uh, 290 to 390 conversion, see how that does. Both of these have been warmed up, so they're ready to go. All right, here we go with the 266 XP. So there you have it. Pretty cool, huh? 266 XP, I love that saw. I'm a Husky guy. Um, obviously I own more steels than I do Husqvarna, but hey, whatever, right? I like them all. Uh, the Huskies just seem like they, uh, you know, the, especially the XP series, they just have a little bit more punch to them. But the steels, I've found, if you take care of them, I think they last forever, really. I mean, they really do. They're, they're tough. The bottom ends on those things are tough. So. Either way, there's a side-by-side, -side, head head-to-head comparison for these two. Um, great saws. Love them all, right? As long as they're running. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.